Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WordPress video series. In this video, I'm going to install a free plugin which will help you create the document gallery on your WordPress website. Here you can see an example of the documents gallery in a WordPress website. I have some PDF files, I have Excel file and I have the Word document file. So this is a gallery created using this free plugin. Now if I click on PDF file, it will open the preview of the PDF file. If I click on Word document, it will give you an option to download the file. Now there are different settings. You can set up the preview of the file or you can set up the pop-up window when someone clicks on the document. You can also set up download file option. You can also change the layout. You can use the list layout or you can use the grid layout for the document gallery. So this is not the image gallery. This is the document gallery. If you have multiple documents that you want to show on a single page of your WordPress website, you can definitely try using this free plugin. You can also create different folders for different documents. You can create multiple folders and you can upload the documents into different folders and you can select the folder that you want to show as the document gallery. So let's see how we can install a free plugin to create the document gallery on a WordPress website. Do not forget to subscribe to Quick Tips YouTube channel. Watch new videos about website design, e-commerce websites, search engine optimization, social media marketing, WordPress tutorials, video editing tips and many more. Press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos. So here I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website and now we are going to install a free plugin which will help you create the document gallery or you can say PDF file gallery on your WordPress website. So you can show the gallery of the documents on your WordPress website and using this plugin you can also create the media folders for your document. So you can create a folder and you can upload all those documents in that particular folder in the media files. So let's start with the installation of the free plugin. So let's go to plugin and click on add new plugin and here search for cat folders. So this is the name of the plugin. So basically we will need to install two different plugins. This is the first plugin cat folder WP media folders. This plugin will help you create the folders for the WordPress media and in these folders you can upload the documents. I have already published a detailed video on how to create the folders for the WordPress media library using the free plugin as well as the pro plugin. So in this video, we are going to use only the free plugin. This is the video. If you want to watch this video, I'll give you the link in the description box. And the second plugin will be this plugin, cat folders, document gallery, display WordPress PDF gallery from category folder and more. So this is a new plugin and we are going to try this plugin to see how it works. So let's click on install now for the first plugin that is cat folders, WP media folders and also install the second one. So both the plugins are installed. Click on activate and activate the second plugin also. So we have got two different plugins installed. Now we will create a folder for the documents. Let's go to media and here you will see a slightly different structure for the media library. You can create new folders for media library. You can arrange all these images into separate folders. So let's consider you want to create a folder for this dentist. So you can create a folder of dentist and you can add all these files in that particular folder. It's not going to change the structure of the URL if you move them to different folders. It is just the folders that you are going to create to organize all these media in different folders. So here we will create a folder for the documents. Click on new folder and let's name it as important documents. And you want to create the gallery of these documents. So click on save. Here we have created the folder. Let's click on this folder and we will add some files into this folder. Click on add new media file. Select the file. I have some sample files created here. I'm going to upload three PDF files, one Excel file and two Word files. So in total, I'm going to upload six files, three PDF files, two Word documents and one Excel. All right. So here you will see six media files or documents are uploaded here. Now let's go to pages. I have one demo page. 
click on edit so this plugin has added one block into the gutenberg and we need to search for that block so click on plus sign and search for cat folders just like this cat folders two blocks one is for image gallery and the other one is for a document gallery so i'm going to select document gallery and in the right hand panel you will see the folders as of now we have created only one folder we are going to select that one if you have multiple folders it will show the list of folders you can select the required folder and now you will see all the six files are added on the page now we will customize it this is the library name you can change it let's name it as documents library title tag so let's leave it as it is icon folders library icon art text now here you will see link to options so whenever someone clicks on this file it will preview the file or it will pop up window it will download the file or none so these are the four options for the link so let's start with the preview file we will set it to preview files here you will see limit items right now we have six items if you have more items for example 20 items and you want to show only 10 on single page then you can limit the items to 10 and after that it will show the pagination where you will see page one page two and from there they can go to the next page you will see the sort by title modified or size you can sort the documents using the title date or size ascending descending let's go to display options these are the display options you will see library icon show this is the icon if i hide it it will go away and this is the library title documents you can hide that one also this is the search bar if you do not want it you can hide it if you want it at the bottom you can change the position at the bottom let's make it top or you can use it both top or bottom layout icon placement this is the layout icon so there are two different layouts list and grid you will see the list layout right now if i change it to grid this is how it will show so you can use either list or grid right now it shows three columns you can change the columns four five six let's make it three now here you will see title this is the title then type what is the type pdf then size this is the size if you do not want to show the size you, you can hide the size updated right now it does not show anything for that and link this is the download link you can hide that one also all right we will see how does this look on the actual page under advanced we have block name and css let's click on update and let's view the page so this is how the page will look you will see the gallery of the documents now if i click on it it will open the preview it will open the download option for the microsoft excel it will not show the preview of the excel file if i click on pdf it will show the preview of the pdf file if i go to word document it will not show the preview because it is not available in the browser the browser will open only the pdf file preview let's go back and let's see what other options we have here select pop-up window and update it let's refresh it if i click on pdf it will open the pop-up window of the preview this document gallery will work better for the pdf files instead of using excel or the word documents you can convert the word document into pdf and for the excel there is no preview however when someone clicks on it it will give them option to download the excel file let's close it go back let's click on download file this is simple download when someone clicks on it it will download the file click on none update it refresh it and now i'm not able to click on it it's not going to link the pdf file so the best option is to click on preview file for the excel and the word document it will download the file for the pdf it will preview the file so these are the settings of this particular block and you can also create multiple folders to show different galleries for documents on your wordpress website so basically you will need two different plugins the first plugin is to create the folders and the second plugin is to create the gallery of the documents on the wordpress website so this is how you can create the document gallery 
in a WordPress website using a free plugin. That's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comment section and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching quick tips.